Hey guys, it's Jenny with Creature Cove, and today I'd love to share with you something that is t has been two years in the making here at Creature Cove. About probably two and a half years ago, I was watching a YouTube video on like unique reptiles and stuff like that, and came across these very cute animals called giant blue beauty anoles, and they were just kind of coming into the United States before it was illegal for them to come here. And then they were legal to come here and I saw them and I started doing all the research because I wanted them so bad. And while I was researching, I found out that they are not to be played with. They don't like being touched or handled. And um, if you know me, you know I love to handle my animals. So then I was all bummed out. And I was like, oh man. I really want animals I can play with instead of just look at, even though they do make incredibly beautiful display animals as you can see but i wanted to play with them so and at the time they were ultra expensive which they still are a little on the expensive side but this come down a lot so i was like well if i really really want them maybe i can make babies and then teach them that they like to be handled in reality so that's what we started out so we bought two females and a male and put them together. I did everything exactly how I was told and nothing was happening. They would lay like an egg here and there after a year of growing them up, of course. And I never saw them like doing anything. So then we were like, all right, this male is not interested. What is wrong? What are we doing? And then we made this huge, if you saw the video, this huge bioactive enclosure, hoping that maybe that would stimulate stuff. Um, and I just wanted to try to perfect their their environment for them and maybe if they were happier, they would do stuff. Well, they did, but it was unbeknownst to me because I couldn't tell where they were laying their eggs. And then when I did find them, I was like, oh my gosh, eggs, they're gonna be infertile or they're not gonna be good anymore because I didn't find them soon enough. And so I ended up finding like six eggs or seven eggs. So I threw them in the incubator, and I was like, we'll see what happens. And then they started hatching. So I have three babies already. But first, let me show you what an adult looks like, and, and that'll explain why I wanted them. I'm going to adorn myself in these lovely uh, winter, um, like, insulated gloves, because they're thicker. And uh, <laughs> I'll show you why we don't handle them. They do attack, they love to attack, and they will run from you, but then when they realize there's nowhere to go, they'll turn on you and like whoosh, charge you. But let me see, I, I do work with them a little bit, so sometimes they won't bite me right away. Oh, oh no, no, it's okay mama, oh my. So they like to posture, and their necks get real, oh, and then they're like, oh, you're coming at me, I'm gonna get you. Okay, here we go. Oh, that wasn't so bad. But okay, so I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but, oh, see? So beautiful. So the females have these wonderful yellow stripes all over. It's okay, sweetie. See? <laughs> Ooh. Um, but they have these gorgeous yellow stripes. And their bodies go from like this bright, bright green to like this gorgeous blue. Um, and that's kind of what I wanted to breed for, was like the deep blues that they see. Um, just very tropical looking, absolutely stunning to look at. They're interesting too, they really, they're active, they do stuff, they chill around and whatnot. They're always out, so I always see them. But that's kind of what we were looking for, and I want to play with them. So, without gloves. It's okay, baby. <laughs> it's okay. Um, so yeah, otherwise they're very flighty too, They they and they're fast. So we just kind of leave them where they like to be. There you go, mama. And so that's, this is my goal. I want to grab them without being afraid and without getting bitten. I got bit by the big daddy this morning. I was just trying to give him fresh water and um, he decided to take off my finger. So, not really. But anyway, without further ado, let me introduce you to our three babies. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I almost knocked the light over. So here are our three babies. We already know that they're males. These guys, you can tell instantly once they're born what sex they are, and these are all males. They were born, I've got three that were born kind of separate, so 
July 26th, July 31st, and August 6th are when they were all born. And, I, and I've been working with them, so let me show you. I'm excited. Oh my goodness. And I have to show you, it's so cute because when you take, I was posting pictures of them, but people were like, they look the same as the adults. They look huge. And I'm like, no, 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 they look the exact same, but they're super, super teeny tiny. So let me show you the size comparison. It's adorable. And hopefully they won't bite me because I've really been working on them. I don't need gloves or anything. Um, oh, look at you up there with me. He's up on, oh, here we go. Look at guys. <laughs> he's the size of my, he's smaller than my thumb. Oh my gosh. I hope we get amazing close-ups of him because he is stunning. And they're blue and beautiful. Oh my God. But look at how small. And they look, it's just a miniature size of the adult. They, they like don't really have like baby features at all. They are stupid cute, um, but they're just a very tiny version of the males and I love them. And if I do this every, I'm thinking I'll do this every single day, just pop in there, get my hands in there, touching them, messing with them, holding them. Maybe by the time they're older, they'll be so used to it, they're gonna love me and I can kiss them and smooch them and hold them and they're gonna love it. They're gonna love it. I'm gonna make them love it. And uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep working with these guys. We'll see what happens. Eventually, I will be selling handleable, handleable you booty annuls. I, I'm gonna make it happen, guys. I gotta have goals. Gonna make it happen. So uh, keep an eye out for these guys in the future because they are cute. Anyway, I thought I'd share it with you guys because it was something two years in the making. We've been working here at at Cute Creature Cove. And uh, we ended up with some stunning, teeny, teeny babies. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye!